So since the last lesson, I've gone in and I've added some data and an image into my worksheet. Now, I don't want to skip ahead too far here because we haven't even spoken about data entry or how to insert images, but I wanted to get something in this worksheet so that I can demonstrate to you contextual menus and contextual ribbons. Now, what do we mean when we say contextual menu? Well, pretty much what it says on the tin, it's contextual to wherever we clicked. So if I click in my table of data just here, I'm going to click on cell B4 and in B4, I simply have a piece of text. It's an order number. Now, aside from being able to do things with this piece of text, so maybe I want to go up and change some of the formatting options from the ribbon, we can also right click on the cell and we get a contextual menu. Now, the reason why this is contextual is because the items that we see in this menu are very much based on the type of data that we've clicked on in the cell. So what we see in this menu when we're right clicked on a piece of text is going to be different if we clicked on, let's say, a picture. For example, I have a picture just here. Let's right click. The options I get are different and are related to the picture. For example, we have save as picture just here, but when I'm clicked on text and I right click, we don't have that option in here. So the point I'm trying to make is that depending on what you've right clicked the mouse on, you're going to get different menu options. Now, along the same vein, we also have contextual ribbons. So if you take a look at my ribbons at the moment where we have home, insert, draw, page layout running across the top, we will also see up here from time to time other ribbons as well, because not all ribbons show as tabs by default. For example, this data set that I have here that's showing these products and the prices, this is actually an Excel table. And again, we haven't spoken at all about Excel tables at this stage, but just be aware that I've put this into a table. Now, keep your eyes on these ribbon tabs at the top, because when I click in the table, notice I get a new ribbon called Table Design. Hi, from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. So this is in effect contextual as well. When I click on it, I'm going to see all of the commands related to Excel tables. For example, I can change the table style from here. I can do some various things with the table style options. I can insert slices, which are like filters. I can create pivot tables and charts. So everything on this ribbon is contextual. Now, when I'm not clicked in this table, so for example, if I click in a blank cell just somewhere else on the worksheet, that contextual ribbon is going to disappear. So this is pretty good because it prevents your ribbons from being too cluttered. We don't have everything visible all the time. Things appear when they're needed and relevant. The same thing will occur if you insert a picture into your spreadsheet. So I have a picture just here again. Keep your eye on the tabs at the top. When I click on the picture, I get a picture format ribbon. When I click on that, I have all of the options related to formatting, resizing and managing pictures. If I click away, it disappears. So you'll find that with lots of elements when you're working in Excel. For example, if you've inserted a chart and you click on the chart, you're going to get a few extra ribbons up here related to formatting, editing the data and designing your chart. If you click on a pivot table, you're going to get ribbons related to pivot tables. So don't forget when you're clicked somewhere to glance up at these tabs just to make sure that you don't have a contextual ribbon with more options that you didn't know were there. And the final thing to point out in this lesson is that we also have panes that will open up on the right hand side. For example, if I click on the picture, right click and go to format picture at the bottom, it's going to open a format picture pane. And again, this is something that you'll commonly see. There's always going to be some kind of format option that will open a pane. For example, if I click in the data, right click, I don't have format picture, but I do have format cells. And this time it pops open a dialog box as opposed to a pane. 
So just be aware of these right-click menus, hidden contextual ribbons, and also panes that can pop up at any time, depending on what you're working in in your Excel spreadsheet. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.